Hi, I'm George and I'm here with another double E video. Now this problem down here is about IC design dynamic power, and it's actually a very simple problem. All you have to do is remember the equation P dynamic is equal to C times VDD squared times the switching frequency. Now you can look at switching frequency in a couple of different ways. You can say that it's just the frequency that the output is switching, or the more formal definition is alpha times f, where alpha is called the, what's the word I'm looking for? The activity factor. Factor. And there are, there are, there are tables and, and there are ways of deriving what the activity factor is, but all we have to know for this is that if, if the number of switches per period is equal to 2, then our activity factor will be 1 half. And the same is true if our switches per period is equal to 0. So let's go ahead and look at this NAND gate and, and see what we're dealing with. Now first of all, the problem is very nice, and we don't have to derive our frequency or anything like that. It's just given to us as, you know, the, the inverse of the of some arbitrary period t. Now, what this means is that we already have some some kind of time reference to gauge our output by. And knowing your your truth tables for for NAND gates, you know that when the input is when both inputs are high, our output will be low. And otherwise, our output will be high. So our output looks something like this. That's a very crude drawing, but you can see that the output is also periodic because both inputs are periodic and they're they happen sequentially or they happen simultaneously they both change simultaneously the period of our output runs from here to up down right here and you can see down up down right here I apologize there we go. Okay. And you can see that this period here is equal to two times the period T. Because every two cycles up on top here, you get one complete cycle of the bottom. So you can actually say, because our input period is defined as T, that T out is equal to 2T. Therefore, our F out is equal to one half. Makes sense. Pretty simple. Now, another way you could look at this is you could try to find the activity factor. So, this is one period, T out. Over the course of that one period, we switch one, two times. Switching at the very edge of the period does count. So, we know that our switches, and that's an SW per period, equals 2, and when it equals 0 or 2, then our activity factor is equal to 1 half. Now, that's one period, so our frequency is also 1, because frequency is 1 over period, times 1 equals an FSW of 1 half, identical to what we find using the input period as our reference point. So, that's really all there is to it. All you have to do is know that equation and know how to define or how to derive your switching frequency. And then you end up, in this case, with a P dynamic of one half C times VDD squared. That's it. So, I hope you found this as helpful as I did, and good luck.